have to know what's authentic for you, your experience, your skills, what you love. Um, and then you have to address those fears that are getting in the way that are most likely those primal caveman lizard brain parts of our brain that still thinks there's a saber toothed tiger that's trying to kill us at every moment of the day. And it's, it's really not like just pick up the phone or just talk to that person. Like if you're not going to die. And then that's the authentic piece and what's true for you. And then why you want to do sales? Like, why are you even in it? And not just money. Money is always a thing. Like I'm in sales because I want to make, but why do you want to make that money? What does that mean for you? Or is it not about money? Like for me, it's not necessarily about money. It's just about helping people. What are you driven by? Or, you know, what are you trying to prove to the world? Like whatever that is. And then the persuasion part, it's about using persuasion instead of manipulation. And it's about having a process that you can apply to any sales kind of method, um, but just the fundamentals of rapport and empathy and building trust and hope on the back of the authentic side where it's true. And then you're basically taking someone. And the best example I use a lot in my training is to think about how a doctor sells, right? So a doctor, you go into a doctor with a broken leg, the doctor doesn't say, oh, your leg's broken, um, here's your options, just let us know what you'd like to do. <laughs> Here, oh, let me, let me do this, let me send you an email with more information, you get back oh, to me when God. you're ready, and yeah. then we'll move forward with something, you just let me know. Yeah, talk to yeah. your talk to your wife or talk to your boss and then let me know, right? It's funny because you laugh and everyone laughs when I say that, but that's what salespeople do all day. Definitely. You have a problem. You are broken. Your leg is broken and going to fall off. I have the solution. Pay me now. I will help you. And I'm going to do that because I care about you. Not just because I need the money, but just because I care about you and want you in a better place. That doctor doesn't do it. Doctor does their tests. They look at it. Your leg is broken. We're going to fix it. Any questions? No. Okay. Boom. Done. Yeah. That's it. Right. And yeah. so it's making that shift. And I think some people struggle with, well, I don't have something as serious as that, that I could tell somebody that, look, you need this car. We're just going to do it. So there's no questions being asked. They have other right. options from other dealers, but I would come back, come back with that, you know, and hit it back to them and say, look, you got to believe that yeah. it is that serious. Like my mom, we used to drive jalopies all the time. And <laughs> I, I remember one time my mom used to be the one smoking, no seatbelt on, right. you know, She'd have about four scotches and we'd go to the grocery store, you know, and the passenger store, the passenger door would fly open and I don't even have a seatbelt on. I'm like eight years old, you know? So when I remember when we went to a car dealership, I'm like, Oh my God, we're actually going to get a car. I might not die. You know, like yeah. the car door, like the car door might shut, you know, you might make it to your 10th birthday. Exactly. And I think, I think, you know, that was kind of an important deal that we got a new car. And when we walked into that dealership, we did have a really good salesperson who listened and wanted to know what we could afford. And, but my whole point, whether you're a speaker, a trainer, a seminar leader, a car salesperson, a dentist, a doctor, you got to believe that yeah. what you have is something of incredible value. You can't have that, like you said, the negative enemy in your mind talking about that stuff. You know, a lot of people sabotage their own success. Wouldn't you agree with that? hundred percent. You know, 